So you want to teach your service dog, or even an ESA, how to give you deep pressure therapy. Now to start this, your dog needs to know the term lay down, or down, as I use with Oakland. Now, next step is gather treats. And if you do clicker train, a clicker. Oakland already knows his pressure command, so I'm not gonna be using the clicker today, just the treats to show you how I taught him how to give me pressure. Start in the position that you'll generally be using, and then lure the dog over to you with the treats, and have them stand over you. Oh, see, he already kind of knows what pressure is. Stand up. Stand up. Here. See if I can get him to act like he doesn't know. Then standing over you, you tell them, down. And then, wait a second. Pressure. Good boy. Off. Ow. That hurt. Go. And then you keep repeating the process. It'll take a while. Down. Pressure. Good boy. Now, deep pressure repair therapy is different than um, I can't think of the term, pressure point therapy. Whereas pressure point therapy is hitting specific spots within your body to help calm you. Versus deep pressure therapy is just simply the pressure of the dog on your body helps you feel calmer and safer. Generally when I have him do pressure, I will be sitting like this because I'm if I'm in a store or some a restaurant, for example, I don't want to be spread out in the way if I don't have to be. He does no pressure if I have my legs outstretched or if I'm laying on my back as well. Here. Here. So, just keep repeating the process. I pick up the treat I dropped, you dummy. And eventually your dog will learn that pressure is this. And then, over time, build up the pressure command longer and longer times so they have to do it for. Good boy, good pressure. Off. And eventually, your dog will learn it without you having to bribe them. Pressure. But they have to lay on top of you. Good boy. <laughs> Give me a kiss. This is useful for grounding or for just relaxing you during a schizophrenic or anxiety attack. What are you grunting about? So it grunts a lot. <laughs> it can also be helpful for those with, what are you grunting for? <laughs> Autism. And it takes on the same idea of, can you get out of the camera shop for a second? Over here. Over here. It's like the idea of a weighted blanket. Pressure. Eventually you can do what I did with him and teach your dog how to do it when you're in different positions. Like he'll, he'll do pressure if I am sitting like this or if I have my legs outstretched. I actually use the command pause up if I'm <laughs> laying on my back. <laughs> 